Okay, here I'm gonna talk about two on uh, 10 sentiment exchange uh, examples. So basically, I try to show you say the recognized game um, can be equal to the realized game, then uh, also can be equal to the amount of the boot, which is the cash you received or the liability assumed by the buyer. So uh, each example show you, uh, you know, uh, each scenarios. Okay, let's see the first example. Mike exchange investment land with a just basis of $35,000, receiving another partial of the investment land in exchange. The land received by Mike uh, had a fair market value $50,000, and Mike received $12,000 in cash from the other party. Okay, so basically this is an example. Let's see Mike. So Mike, what's Mike going to receive? Mike going to receive $50,000. This is fair market value of the new property. Then he will also receive $12,000 from the other party. So here, the Mike total going to receive the value is equal to 50,000 plus 12,000 is 62,000. Then what is his uh, basis? His basis is $35,000. 62,000 minus 35,000, so you get a $27,000. This is realized again of Mike, right? So realized again, you can see here, uh, we talk about uh, then we need to figure out the, the recognized again. Realized again is not necessarily um, textbook. I'm show you here. Recognized again is you have to pay tax when you at the time you do exchange. You have to realize that in the year of your exchange, then you add it to your uh, income then to be taxed. So what is the recognized gain here then? They say recognized gain is a lesser your realized gain or the boot, which is the cash you received. Here, let's uh, compare the realized gain is $27,000. Then the uh, realized gain is um, then, then the cash received is $12,000. So $12,000 is less than the $27,000. So then you, uh, so you are recognized again is $12,000 equal to the boot here, right? Then your realized again minus the recognized again is your deferred again. So the amount you will not pay tax at this point is $15,000 here. So when you once you get deferred again, you can figure out what's your basis for the new property. Well, your new property fair market value is fifty thousand dollar. So then your new basis, uh, so you defer fifteen thousand dollar again. So your basis then is equal to thirty five thousand dollar. If you notice that this $35,000 is exactly equal to the original basis on the older property. So yeah, this is your basis. Then you double check that, say, you know what, I, uh, Mike owns this new property. Then he turn around, he want to sell the property. Then what's his gain then? His gain is the amount he deferred, $15,000. So he turn around sell at a fifty thousand. His basis is thirty five thousand. So he his uh gain is fifteen thousand dollar. So this is you can double check your work, right? This is one example. Let's see the next example. Say, Bay Bell exchange investment land with a just basis of fifty five thousand dollar. Receiving another partial of the land from the jack uh, with fair market value is $50,000. In addition, Bill, uh, Bill's land was subject to $15,000 mortgage, which was assumed by Jack as part of the exchange. Okay, let's see the deal. So Bill, Bill owned a property 
The basis is fifty-five thousand dollar. So he gonna exchange a land with Jack. Jack's um land and、uh, Jack's um property is fifty thousand dollar fair market value. Then, then Jack will also assume builds a、uh, builds property a、uh, builds mortgage on the property. So basically, Jack has to you know. Or、uh, give up fifty thousand dollar in addition, then he has to get the mortgage. So basically, then what's Bill gonna receive then? Bill gonna receive fifty thousand dollar the property value, right? Then there are、uh, a mortgage. He no longer has a mortgage. Jack has a mortgage, so which is the benefit to Bill. So total value is sixty five thousand. Then what's his basis? His basis is fifty five thousand dollar. So then what's his realized again? Sixty five thousand minus basis fifty five thousand. So it's ten thousand dollar again. So ten thousand dollar again. This is realized again. We talk about recognize again now. We want to find out the let. Recognized again is the lesser. Realized again, and the boot. The boot can be the cash you received, or your mortgage is assumed by the other party. Right? In this case, Bill's mortgage is assumed by Jack, which is fifteen thousand dollar. So you compare the fifteen thousand dollar the mortgage, right? Fifteen thousand dollar the mortgage. Uh, which is a boot with the realized again. Realized again is lesser, is smaller. So your recognized again is gonna use a smaller amount. So in this case, your recognized again is a、uh, ten thousand dollar. You can see this is taxable to you. So you can see all the boot your your boot is not all your boot gonna be taxable. The two only two when you realize tremendous amount of you know, uh, again so uh which is most the cases because people do ten city when exchange is try to defer the gain, so most of the time your boot is fully taxable, but in this case your boot is not fully taxable, so it's only ten thousand is taxable, so then you all. So when there's a realized again, you minus the recognized again. So you only you get deferred again. Deferred again is zero because realized again equal to the realized recognized again. So basically, all the again you realized you paying you already paying all the tax at a, the year of your exchange. So you don't have any deferred again. So in this case, then what's your basis then? So your basis in the new property said what's your new property is fair market value fifty thousand dollar. Then you don't have any deferred again. So in this case, your new property basis is equal to the fair market value of the property. So it's fifty thousand dollar. Then let's double check the work. Said okay, Bill received the new property. He gonna turn around then sell this property. He will sell at fifty thousand dollars, and there's no gain to him, right? He ah,、uh, there's no gain to him in this case. So, yeah. So this is recognized again equal to the ah、uh, recognized again. Which is taxable gain equal to the realized gain. Ah,、uh, so now all your boot are taxable. So this is the example. So in this example, you probably notice that that you never bill is ah、uh, the person doing the exchange. Do you know the fair market value of bill's property? No, you don't know. Do you know the ah、uh, the basis of Jack's ah?、Uh, Jack's uh property? No, you don't know. So basically, just、uh, this one tell you say when you try to figure out the, the taxable gain or your basis in the new property, you do not need to know your own property's fair market value. You do not 
you do not need to know the uh the other parties, uh, the basis in the property. So that's I'm um, trying to summarize here. So you figure out your new basis in received the new property. You basically just need your own basis. Find out your own base. Then did you uh give um you know any did you pay any uh cash? Uh, did you receive any cash? Do you have any mortgage assumed by the other party? Do you have mortgage uh, you assumed? So those are the important elements. And the fair market value of the new property. Those are the elements that you need to figure out of your new basis and the tax for gains. You don't need is it. You basically ignore your or properties that fair market value because you this is you not your concern is the buyer's concern then you don't need know the buyers um the buyers basis in the uh in their property so that's not your concern so that's just the same thing keep in mind then here I summarize that your realized gain is equal to a month realized my, minus the adjusted basis. Then your recognized gain is a lesser of the realized gain or the boot. Your deferred gain is equal to the realized gain minus the recognized gain. Your new basis is a fair market value of the new property minus the deferred gain. Here's something keep in mind. Mortgage assumed by the other party is equal to is equal like a cash you received. When giving cash, your basis increase. So when receiving cash, uh, you recognize again no changes, usually no changes in the basis. Recognize again is not always equal to the boot, uh, which is I talk about that. So you basically you are not all, always your boot is not always taxable just uh, that's the case recognize the gain must be included in the gross income yes recognize the gain is taxable always include your uh, income of the year exchange 